Now I was thinking, we done with the board? I wanted to, um, nah, this would you rather question kind of fucked up. Um, Which one? This one, I think, uh, it might be a good one, but we might also get banned for it. I don't know if I want to say it. I mean, it says, would you rather punch a two-year-old and nobody knows or not punch a two-year-old, but everybody thinks you did? <laughs> I'd rather punch a two year old. Wow. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> we started by the way, but <laughs> Wow. I'm glad I wouldn't and I was just about to say something. <laughs> I was about to say, man, I'm piecing this ass up. <laughs> if ain't nobody know. Like if somebody think you did, it's just as like you can't recover from that. <laughs> yeah. From the fact that somebody like at some point thought you punched a two year old. Yeah, that's like the <laughs> You're like a bad human. Like we being. can't hoop together no more. Nah, you can't come up like you punch a two year old on purpose. Yeah, I'd rather just do it. I don't know. I think it's like equivalent to like if you knew I if you thought I punched a two year old, we can't even be cool like that. Nah, it's, like, it's almost like equivalent to like being friends with. And look, uh, I mean, we can review what the two year old said first. True, two year olds mean, bro. Yeah, but I was saying it's sometimes equivalent. you got to put them in a place. I was gonna say if it's equivalent to um, I remember you said this one time. It was like. If you have a friend that's a deadbeat dad, <laughs> you can't be friends with yeah. him. That's kind you know of what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all know y'all hear me. Um, <laughs> you can't be friend if your if your friend doesn't take care of your kid, his kid, his kid. You can't you can't do that. Yeah, that's a if if, you, if your friend is on the registered sex offender list, that's not your friend anymore. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. that can't be your and, friend. And like the- everywhere you go, there's a red dot over both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you hanging with him They know exactly Where you at too Yeah <laughs> Like bro What if you got a red dot Bro <laughs> Oh Welcome to Crash oh. Dummies Podcast <laughs> Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast Episode 16 16 Right Yeah it is 16 Okay let's get it Um Again Welcome Um If you're watching this on YouTube Please take the time right now to, Please take the time To right give now. us uh, a like on the video uh, Subscribe yeah. to us Subscribe 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 Ding. Subscribe Like and comment for the algorithm You know We're trying to We're trying to Appreciate it. Trying to step up on, in, in, in our production a little bit Appreciate but, it But um, if you listen to our audio Thank you for your continued support The audio numbers has been really good Especially just for um, the first three months of doing the podcast So Yeah Yeah And for people listening to on Spotify, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try something. They have this new feature where we can add like a poll question or some type of question within the Spotify app. So if you see it there, I did a good job. If you don't, I messed up Boy and, trash. and I'll put it on the next one. But I'll do a poll question, just kind of like uh, better understand our our listeners. And then obviously you guys can always DM us on on instagram yeah and stuff like that to kind of tell us what you like what you didn't like if you tell us stuff you didn't like we might we might roast you in the in the in the messenger but still it's all love might post your picture on the main page (laughs) and just just roast you it's all love yeah it's all love so um oh no you guys didn't have a game this week there's no no bye week there's no game for you there's some other news that happened in college football though what well, not college football. A college football legend, Urban Meyer, uh-huh. who now is the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. So Urban Meyer won. Um, I think he has three national championships, um, two with Florida, like one with Ohio State. Mm-hmm. Now everybody knows Urban Meyer. He recently retired, and then now he's back with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, they played Thursday night against the Cincinnati Bengals, and I guess he stayed in Ohio after the game. And there was this this video of this. I mean, she looks like she's in college. Yeah. Maybe a little older. She mm-hmm. could be low twenties. No, she looked around young there. from the video I just saw. Yeah, she did look. She yeah. did look pretty young. Yeah. <laughs> um, and she was basically like twerking on him, like dancing on him. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, if you don't know, like Urban Meyer's been married forever. Yeah. And he has kids, so it's like weird. Like you rarely catch like NBA coaches, NFL coaches, even like some of the players. Like you rarely catch anybody with that much money get recorded like that. And just like it looked like it was like a regular bar. Yeah, like some towny bar. And yeah. I saw some of the comments like, "Oh, he wasn't even touching her." But I'm like, "Fam, the girl's that close." Like, <laughs> exactly. Your hand he is twerking. like right. I don't know what his hand was doing. <laughs> he had his hand in like that position to where it's like he could have been blocking her. Mm-hmm. 
I would add the video, but I feel like they would freaking yeah, they definitely take that down. Strike our video down, but yeah, just Google Urban Myers at a bar on Twitter or something. Yeah, you'll yeah, yeah. put it in a Twitter. <laughs> you'll see it, but yeah, like bro, how does that not like even just jump through your mind? Like you're Urban Meyer, like there's only 32 NFL coaches. You're one of them. You're also one of the more popular coaches in the league in America, and you don't think. Like this girl's dancing on you, bro. And um, where's his boys at? To be like, yo, 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 what are you doing? That's how you know you don't got no good friends, Man. especially if you're in the you're messing up in a situation like that, and then nobody comes in. Like, hey, this is not a good look. <laughs> you're famous. You're famous, a superstar who's been married, and you're freaking letting a girl dance on you, like dance on you, like what? Dude has way too much money to be doing stuff like that. Way too much. I'm like, like I, cheating is wrong, and being um, you know, obviously. Not being faithful in your marriage is wrong, but I feel like if you're going to do that and you have that much money, there's probably better ways. <laughs> there's better ways to do that than that. Yeah, gotta, and I'm, I'm saying if he's doing idiot, if he's doing that in public, his <laughs> wife probably thinking like, <laughs> "What the hell is he doing yeah, in private?" Like, yeah. God damn, boy, <laughs> that's terrible. The good thing about well, not the good thing about it, um, they didn't play this Sunday, so he really doesn't have to answer the press until like the first press day. He probably um, just tell him not to answer that question. Yeah, like I don't know how you gonna get away with this one, Bucko. Yeah, this this pretty man. I doubt they asked him that question because it's like more of a personal question. Just think when when was the last time you can think of any superstar getting caught on camera like this? Yeah, um, Jamal Murray. Mm, that was his girlfriend. Yeah, that was his girlfriend. I'm saying like getting caught. Like oh yeah, I don't know. With pure evidence, we hear rumors all the time. Tristan Thompson. Yeah, we hear rumors all the yeah. time. Yeah, and you see Tristan Thompson, uh, but but you don't see a video. Yeah, yeah. You that's... see pictures of him with like maybe another female. Like you don't see a video. Like he can't deny that video. Like his yeah, his wife like he probably rewinding it. Like mm, when when you was gonna move, huh? On the that's, on that's the rough. on the second uh, butt to pelvis move that she pulled on she you, probably got it just like on the same screen he watches the get film uh, on. Film on. <laughs> they watching it on huddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Have you um? Did you get a chance to see the the series uh, Squid Game? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you watched a little bit of it. It was it's it's literally all over TikTok right now. Oh it's yeah, crazy. Everywhere. Yeah, everybody loves the Squid Game. Yeah, that some uh a listener actually suggested that uh, we watched it. And so that was kind of a good I, I was I was pretty like We was already gonna watch it, Buster. I don't think your, I was I don't think I was to be it honest. It ain't your idea, whoever you is. <laughs> I got peer pressure. Scram. I definitely got like FOMO into watching it. Like everybody FOMO. Fear of missing out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get, give it your acronyms, man. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> but like seeing everybody talk about it and stuff like that, I was like, okay, let me just give it a try. And um it was a good it was really good. It's, I think it's gonna be the most it's, they say it, Netflix says it's going to be like the most watched uh, Netflix series of all time. Mm. The girl that in that series, uh, the main uh, the main girl, I guess. Yeah, she had four hundred thousand followers on on Instagram, and now she has uh, 11, twelve million followers. She since the <laughs> yeah. So she was getting like a million followers life, a day almost. Not not her life has changed. She, probably life already changed when she started in the yeah. Thing. I think she's but, a famous. She's a pretty famous model in Korea, like a worldwide. She's been in like big campaigns, but not at this level of like. So that's a Korean movie. Yeah, it's a Korean. Ah, okay. <laughs> you didn't know what language you were listening to? No. <laughs> at first, I was. I don't. You you never want to assume in those things. No, like, I knew. I honestly knew it was. It, it had to be some type of Korean. It's because China, I took Chinese, and I can hear you can hear one at least yeah. one word in Chinese. Shout out to David Lynch. And then um, it obviously didn't look like Japanese because I used to read a lot of uh, when I was younger. They're like all these Japanese like mm -hmm. anime manga books. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it had to be. Then I looked at the subtitles. But speaking of it, do you listen? Do you when you watch those type of shows? Do you listen with the the English dub overs? No. Or do you listen to native language? Then the native language yeah. with the words going across. I cannot do the dub overs. You. Uh, that, and that's so I was telling people to watch a uh, money heist, right? Mm -hmm. And people were like, oh, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. It was kind of lame. I was like, how'd you watch it? They're like, I watched it with the English voiceover. I'm like, no, you got to get rid of that. Yeah, it's not. It's like it's so fake, too. It's so fake. And they're like, oh, I my my knee. <laughs> yeah. And it sounds like that. And it's like some dude getting sli his knee sliced off. Yeah. And they're it's like, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> and their mouth still moving. Doesn't match with the mouth. So it's yeah. just it's super distracting. But like I have to go to the car. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like the old. Damn. It's like that old meme, like our before memes were memes. Of yeah, the, yeah, remember that? Yeah, when people used to try to make fun of the kung fu movie. Yeah, <laughs> oh my knee. <laughs> with the mouse still moving. Uh, for sure but yeah if you if you're gonna watch a, a a series in another language just just watch it in the native language and put the put the subtitles the english subtitles to read uh or do the, whatever the fuck you want and fuck mike no nah, no flat out seriously do what you want stop using just use the english subtitles the only thing i hate about uh watching with subtitles sometimes is that you got actually have to pay attention to the series yeah yeah yeah. you, you, can, you get you on your phone away. yeah you look in your phone you was, miss a whole sequence i'm like what the hell why are they fighting right now the, the worst part is like when they when the subtitles start going before the scene yeah and then you start to see it and you start to be like oh damn she about to slap the shit out of him <laughs> yeah. and you know before and it kind of takes out the intensity of yeah. it a little bit no i agree yeah but i, I was thinking though there was obviously i've seen the memes and stuff like that of like people doing the squid game games and stuff like that i was thinking like if you were part of uh, the Squid Game, what games and what games you would you want added that you feel like slap uh, boxing? What games would you want added that you feel like you have been uh, slap good boxing? At? <laughs> Let me finish the, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. <laughs> slap the shit out of a dude. <laughs> what games do you think you would be good at in the Squid Games, or what games would you want added to Squid Games that you would be good at? Okay, I want slap boxing at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, you ever play curves? What's curves? Where you stand on different sides of the street and you uh, you have a, one basketball, uh-huh. and basically you're trying to hit the curb to make it come back to you. Oh, I never played that. Really? No. And then if you throw it over the car and it bounces back, that's game over. What the hell? You never played curves before? No, no. Damn. I would want to play um jackpot. Jack with the football? Yeah, when you throw it up in the air. Yeah, and there's you're another like, name for that, too. I don't know. Yeah, I just, you just call it like 500. 500 or yeah, Jackpot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That would be a good game. Um, slap boxing is funny. You said tips. <laughs> tips, yeah. Tips, like tips. where you tip when you, the ball. Yeah, when you jump back and forth with the ball. Four square. Four square would be, would be tough. Mm-hmm. That would be tough. Um, what are the games? I'm trying to think what other. Oh, Dead Man Pickup. I don't know what you guys called it. Kill him. Kill him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kill him. Yeah. There's like I feel like there's so many names for that game. That's, that, a, that's the worst game ever. Yeah. <laughs> At some point you're gonna pick it up and run a touchdown and everybody be like, no, no. you went the wrong way. And everybody get the, everybody turn into Ray Lewis and yeah. shit. <laughs> you about to get killed. Yeah, that's the worst when you dust everybody one way and then you have to turn back around the other way. That's like yeah. fam. Y'all just hating. Old football game. Old football <laughs> you game. Said slap boxing. Slap boxing. <laughs> just flat out slap boxing. Bro, you're a slap box and like, you ever seen somebody slap box and then like turn into fist? 100% of the yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always, it's always so funny to me when people argue after like uh, a physical match. Yeah. Like two boxers. Mm-hmm. Like, I just beat your ass for 12 rounds, and then now you want to fight me. Like, we just fought. <laughs> <laughs> the safest yes. way possible. I saw two U- dudes in the UFC get into it. I'm like, bro, y'all just fought for 12 yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think going to be different? Yeah. You just beat your ass. Like, oh, man. I guess a street a street fight is a, is a little bit different. Yeah, slap boxing. You, you can tell when it's about to be a real fight in slap boxing. <laughs> when that slap echoes through the whole room first of all you shouldn't be like honestly slap boxing is to train you for the real thing yeah it's to train you f- to, to fight mm-hmm. and basically the person you're going against is not as deadly blows because it slaps yeah you're only supposed to slap box against people that you like love or like yeah. that's your friend <laughs> yeah. like you're not supposed to do like a like and with the dumbass middle schoolers doing random slap boxing <laughs> what do you think is going to happen when these two people strike whoever loses has to kind of up the ante. Yeah. And all it takes is like a balled up fist to be like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, the, the, but <laughs> when you hear when you hear that one slap and everybody goes, ooh, mm, that's that when you hurt. know, about, yeah, that's when you know it's going to be some shit. <laughs> or you get a busted lip. Oh, he split your shit. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. What else happened this week? Nothing much, huh? Not really. It was a I week. saw um, there was a uh, uh, little baby was on stage. Right, mm-hmm. I've been seeing this a lot lately. Where a star is on stage and somebody sneaks on. Remember, like the old school one. I don't know if you remember that old school video of Michael Jackson being on stage, and like uh, this uh, Asian fan climbs up 
and is on the stage and Michael Jackson is making sure they don't fall. They're on like some type of uh, thing that's lifted off the ground and the person is singing the song. And now I'm seeing like when people jump on stage, they literally get nailed by security. Like security just can't wait. It's like security been waiting to beat their ass. A lot of those, especially those security because a lot of those security, like if you're a security for a celebrity, usually you don't really get into that much. Uh, you get that much action. Yeah, don't get that much action. Yeah. People already know. Waiting like, on that shit. Like, yeah, like, please walk on this stage. Bro, the worst part is like when, <laughs> they, when you got the street dudes in the back with you too and they just can't wait to stomp you out because oh, like man. I can legally stomp you yeah. out right now. We protecting ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. I was at the... Uh, I that was the, a, that, the side note. That no, was the best. Ahead. That was the best thing to me in college. What? Like <laughs> stomping people out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that was the best thing to me in college. Is like when I got into it with somebody that wasn't from the college. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, I could just honestly just beat your ass. Like, and when they come here, it's like if two students are fighting, like somebody has to get kicked out, yeah. or maybe both people do, like whatever. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be on this campus. That's True. my advantage. Yeah. yeah. I'm about to beat your ass. You're not supposed to be here. And get you off this camp. As soon as security get in, get him out of here. <laughs> get that boy out of here. I was um I was grocery shopping today and then um when I was at obviously at the register, the register person at the register asked me, like, um, oh, would you like to donate a dollar to some cause, like Red American Cross or something like that? Mm -hmm. I was like, all right. But then I started thinking, like, I shop here every week. Right. And you guys ask me the same thing, and I say yes every time. So it's like, for you, what would you think, like, if you shop at the same place every week, right, how many times do you say yes to donating to a cause at the register before you'd be like, all right, no. Nah. Zero. <laughs> I don't be, that shit dead. <laughs> to be honest, the only way they can get me if they ask me, if it's on the machine, mm -hmm. No, every single time. Would you like to round up to a dollar? My shit, five ninety nine. No, <laughs> fuck. I don't know what y'all doing with this money. Nobody knows what anybody is doing with that money. Like, I think the part is that they never even show like an update video <laughs> of like, hey, this is where this we, is where your money is. Going this is where on. your two cents that we take every. Hey, <laughs> hey, give out a commercial. Everybody that donated to American Red Cross, you shop at Walgreens. Yeah. and they made you donate. Hey, this is what your money is doing. It's like, no, you just keep taking my money, like. <laughs> <laughs> Round up to five ninety eight. I'll take my two cents. Sir. I used to have the uh, the Acorns app, which is like it just rounds up your money and yeah, then saves like it for you. Yeah. But so when that happens, it's like now if it's a dot, you know, if it's a a solid figure, it won't really round up anything. Yeah. So I'm like, y'all taking money from me now? Because <laughs> if you like, say if it's like seven dollars fifty five cents, right? Uh -huh. Acorns usually would would just bump it up to an even number, which yeah. would be eight dollars. But if you spend eight dollars, usually they won't really round it up. I, I could be completely wrong, but you that's are what, completely wrong. You think so? What yeah. would they round it up from eight dollars then? Not, not they do nothing. They do nothing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if Red so Cross is money from if Red Cross rounds up my stuff to eight dollars already, that means they're taking five cents from me. No, then they just ask you to donate. No, no, I don't know what happens when you get an even dollar. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this that mic almost swallowed the whole mic. <laughs> this mic has been like, yeah, that boy, that boy, Mike been looking at that mic. Mike been looking at the mic. I'm about to give it the golf golf three thousand. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, what was Sheesh. your dice question? Oh, um, okay. So there's a hundred sided dice, mm -hmm. right? With a obviously number one through a hundred. Yep. Okay. You can roll it as many times as you can. Every time you roll it and it doesn't land on the number one, you get $10,000. Okay. But if it lands on the number one, you lose a limb. Ooh. How many times do you roll the dice? Oh, I guess there's no really right number. Do you, you said, roll the dice? Do I roll the right dice? Yeah. If you're like, okay, so I, I, I can get it out, right? Do you um, roll the dice in the first place? I might roll it once. That's what I said. <laughs> I might be we got to go. Because, like, you got to, at that point, you got to start thinking, like, even if I mess up once, it's not going to happen twice. What limb do I not care about? Yeah, exactly. It's like, if I mess up the first, on the first roll, yeah. it's like, all right. I know I'm not, I can, you know, that, I roll a couple was more sudden. times. Like, yeah. You roll? Only $50,000 and your left arm chopped off. 
<laughs> that ain't looking too good. Yeah, damn. What limb would I even go with first? Dang. They got to be your arm. You still want to walk. Damn, one arm? Yeah. Shit. Like, bro, I, I literally only got three legs and two arms, so I, like, don't understand which one I would pick first. Three legs. <laughs> I was just trying to pretend that I didn't hear you say that. I know you heard me. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many times did I'm, you roll it? <laughs> I'm rolling it maybe. You gotta roll it once. Shit. Like you, I'm I'm thinking like if I can roll it ten times and get to a hundred thousand dollars. That's tough. Without a hidden number. Without one. hitting one. Ooh, that's tough. Ten numbers. All right, this is what I would do. I'll roll it one time for sure, right? Yeah. I would roll it nine times if I don't get it. Um, I roll it ten if I get to number nine without a one. I think everybody would. It's about would you roll it or not? You could roll the first one and get on number one, lose a limb. But then I would keep rolling after that. Yeah, you might as well. You might as well. You not- you got, hey, if you get one leg chopped off, you might as well get the other. Just keep rolling. What if you hit one twice in a, twice in a row? Two legs off. Might as well keep rolling. <laughs> at that point, at that point <laughs> I'm going to keep rolling. <laughs> once I lose a limb, like, yeah, once like you lose over. A, once you lose a limb, it's like, it's it's a no holds bar. Like, man, you're going to be an amputee <laughs> from the knees down. <laughs> you're going to be walking on your thighs. Oh, my God. That's not funny. <laughs> that boy quiet walking. <laughs> I'm boy leaning on his quads, oh, boy. Oh man, having a good time. Temporary layoffs. <laughs> okay, I had a question for you. All right. Okay, here we go. Would you rather someone give you a hundred thousand dollars on the spot, or give you four out of the five Powerball numbers, and the fifth Powerball number will be one through five? Mm, and the Powerball is like six hundred million right now. Six hundred and thirty-five huh? million right now. Sheesh. Compared to a hundred thousand, what would you take? One through five. What's that? What's that? Twenty percent chance. Yeah, twenty percent chance. Yes, twenty percent chance. I think I'm taking the chance. I think I'm I'm going with the trying to get the Powerball. Really? Mm-hmm. Might as well. Like a hundred thousand dollars. Like if you got big dreams for yourself. Yeah. Like you're gonna run into a hundred thousand dollars pretty soon. You gotta go big. Yeah, hundred. That shit 000. gonna hurt though. A hundred thousand dollars easy to make. To be you, honest, you want you know what? What I really want to know about these would you rather's? What? It's like who letting that dude walk away that just offered that? What you mean a hundred thousand dollars on the spot? <laughs> as soon as I get right, as soon as I get it wrong, he'd be like, "Nope, you got it wrong." I'd be like, "Yeah, where are you going?" <laughs> Where do you think you're going? And you know four numbers? I'm just going to take those four. I'm just going to use those four right. numbers and play boy. <laughs> play one through four. Four I'll through five. And they sent them by itself. That boy going to be tied up. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have that boy tied up in the basement. All right. Strapped you know? to a chair. <laughs> listening to old direct TV infomercials. <laughs> and I'll just be whipping them in this back. Like, Shh. <laughs> What's the Powerball numbers? <laughs> 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 you got to like how do you how, how do you know this man how do you know this and why you keep coming up every episode <laughs> offering me money and then hurry up and trying to walk away <laughs> i'm about to kill your ass <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right okay i got another question for you another one okay, yeah, let's yeah. Go. okay you're 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 on a private jet by mm-hmm. yourself this is a scenario you're on a private jet by yourself yep okay you see the pilot grab his chest and faint. He's having a heart attack. Got it. Okay. The plane starts to go in a downward spiral. Mm-hmm. You got probably like 30 seconds to make a decision. There's a book in the front of the plane by the pilot that says how to learn how to fly a plane in 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Okay. Plane is spiraling down. It's going to probably hit the ground in 50 seconds. Mm-hmm. Then you got a next to a parachute. You have how to learn how to work a parachute Mm -hmm. in one minute. But we we obviously don't know when the plane, we're just kind of guessing it's probably going to be within 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah. In that situation, I'm definitely going with the, 
I'm definitely going with the uh, the parachute. Oh, that's a nice one. Just just <laughs> just <laughs> based on. Oh no! I thought I wasn't recording. Holy shit! <laughs> but just based on um, just based on like what I what knowledge I feel like I already have of of a parachute. Mm-hmm. I know I don't have any experience dive skydiving, but I know there's a a little string you gotta pull. That's for sure. Bro, I know nothing about a plane. I know, but just think about this question. I can barely fucking read in a passenger seat when somebody going over like potholes. Mm-hmm. So imagine a turbulence and you're trying to read. I don't think you're gonna be able to read anything so if i was to read something i'd rather read a book on how to be super flexible no so i can find a way to kiss my ass goodbye (laughs) (laughs) it's over (laughs) it's over bro there's no way you read with all that turbulence (laughs) i might just take my anger out on like the unconscious pilot and just get the peace in his ass "Mm, mm, mm, mm." i had no heart attack (laughs) <laughs> Stupid ass! <laughs> I'd be mad as hell, bro. If they was on like um, making tweets about me and uh, and saying, "Damn, Pat, Pat didn't survive the plane crash," and they were spreading rumors about me, saying, "Like, damn, I don't think he can read because he didn't pick up either book." It's like it's too much turbulence. Why y'all spread spreading rumors about me? Like we on Yik Yak or something? Remember that? Oh yeah. What's that? What's that? Yik yak? Is y- it yak yik 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 yak? Yik yak. Yik yak is back. Is it? It's back. Ooh. So I think some company, I'm not gonna Google it or anything, but some company pretty much bought the app mm-hmm. and then they're relaunching it. And it's probably the most <laughs> it's gonna it's not gonna work. It's gonna continue back to bullying no matter what. Especially like so tick for for people that might not know, Yik Yak is like a, an app where you can anonymously um chat about people and like talk about like within like a 10 mile radius yeah, yeah so yeah. if you're on a it's like kind of pretty much a message board in a 10 mile radius so mm-hmm. pretty much like me and pat went to a small college so if it's you went, perfect for something like that. if you go to it, it's per, it's perfect for big colleges it's bad for small colleges people because, know exactly what you're talking about yeah because that's why i said it's perfect i love the drama yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can use you can't use people's like full names on it so like even if people are using initials on a small campus, yeah, you know who they're talking about. Yeah, for sure. And it's funny that this is, app is coming back because <laughs> I was a victim. Of tick I one, think we all were of yik yak bullying. Mm-hmm. So for some people that didn't know, in college, um, I had the chance to go to NFL training camps. So I was with the the Giants in 2016, mm-hmm. and I was with the 49ers in 2017. So when I was going to training and stuff for the the giant stuff i kind of knew so like it's 2016 i kind of knew i was going to go to the giants in let's say january mm-hmm. of that uh, 2016 yeah. and you don't the announcement doesn't really come to like may yeah so you know i was just training I remember do, how they told you yeah yeah i'm just training like, do, doing my do my own thing yeah. just and then people are on yik yak talking stuff about <laughs> about me so i just like i i screenshotted a lot of them back then so yeah, I, just I got kinda, some too you do yeah. from back then yep uh so i have one that says does Mike E really think he's going to the league? And that that was a funny one to me because I never shared like my ambitions of like playing for professional football with mm-hmm. anybody but like my close friends. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like, okay, why they're they're just thinking I want to go there. <laughs> Another one saying, uh, Michael's Mike Michael Siobo is doing community service work just to get into the league. What well, was just during the first three point five years? This so where was it though? <laughs> I was doing. I mean, community. honestly, you weren't. <laughs> that like, it's funny because some of those TikToks are true. Like, that's dead. You weren't doing any community service before that. I was. We used before to, you. No, we used to do them together. No, we, no, no, no. <laughs> we had to do those. Yeah. What, what would you do on your own? But I wasn't doing any community service that's either. What I'm I was just hanging out with a kid that uh, I still I still talk to him to this day. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a uh, brain cancer. He mm-hmm. beat brain cancer, but that was the kid I was hanging out with. But my thing was that. Do you think the league really cared if I was doing community service? Yeah. As no, no, no. Do you think they care as an undrafted person? They're bringing in for a trial. Do you think they really care? Yeah, I, I could have been slinging it. drugs and could have been the biggest drug dealer in the world. They would have still invited me to that camp. They don't care about that stuff for like undrafted people. But that that was a funny one. Um, I got a couple more. I got one. Uh, Mike E thinks he's the baddest bitch on campus. He is not. <laughs> Nobody said that. Oh my bad. That was in my draft. <laughs> 
I was reading my drafts. Damn. Uh, Hold on. Let me log out. This one said, this was during the Super Bowl when the Broncos were playing. I forgot who they were playing. But they said, I want to see Mike E take a hit like the Marius Thomas just took. I bet he'd never taken a hit even close to that. And if he did, he wouldn't be able to get up. I was like, again, once again, true. Shout out to the nation. <laughs> <laughs> it was shout out to the nation early. But the funny thing is that people like that game is going on and pe- that's what people are thinking. You can actually just like it's it's so funny because it's a it gives room for people like just just like the Internet. Right. It gives yeah. people a voice that might not have had a. Might not say that in like, you know they in person. Won't. That's that's like fifty percent. That's sixty percent of the people. Yeah, won't so, say stuff in person. But it birthed the br- the burner accounts. Yeah, that gave did. people the idea like, oh shit, this yeah. is very powerful. I can mm-hmm. do this even on an even bigger yeah, scale. So now you got all those burner accounts on Facebook, yeah. Twitter, and for any this is not a, a PSA message, but like yes, it is. It it could be it. That stuff never bothered me. It was just funny to me because I know. This person is literally, we really had a thousand people on, on campus down yeah. there. And this person would nearly never, ever, ever come up to my face and say it. It's like the villain story. It's the, it's the kid. He dropped a pencil and you yeah. stepped on his pencil. Yeah. And he's like, Michael. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know what I did to this person. But if they're that mad, they want it. That's the way they want to take. So honestly, people, if people are talking shit about you on the internet, it's not real life. It's, it's. It's not real. They, and on the other note is yeah. if you getting cyber bullied right now, log the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Just log off. That's like the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Oh, he bullying me on the internet. People do get it's cyber red, bullied though. It's, it's a red X right up there, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard somebody said before too. Like say this log off. I don't know. For some people it can be a little hard because like it can go. I haven't been in elementary in years, but like it can probably start carrying over to yeah, school. Them, them being in school. But honestly, yeah, bro. For sure. If people are talking shit about you on the internet, just keep chucking. Take boxing lessons. Get a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Say get a gun. <laughs> Don't, get a gun. Hey. Don't get a gun. <laughs> Take boxing lessons. Don't hey. get a gun. Can't bully these bullets, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Push this up against a locker. Five, five. Or just listen, you know, if anybody getting bullied, just pop up. Actually, you know? let me not say that because the, I could be influencing a school shooter. That's what I told you not to say. Yeah. <laughs> don't I get a gun. Don't. I never, I don't get the concept of school shootings. Like, Why? Bro, just go for the person that you really want. Like, I think, I think it's all like a mental, a mental thing. And like the ex, the, it's a copycat league too. Yeah, And being yeah. able to access guns, like that. And like the attention you get off of it. Like, look at the attempted ones. You still know the person's name and the trial. The successful ones, obviously, those people like they like to think they're not giving those people fame, but they do. Yeah, like that's just like we talked about on the last podcast. Mm-hmm. It's like America, like we give like criminals fame. Yeah, and that's part of it. That's part of the problem. Is like people know they're going to be famous, famous. for it. Like, yeah, it's that's terrible. why I don't think that yik yak stuff. Because I remember one time we we're in college and somebody did like a bomb threat on that on the on the app, and we evacuated school. Like somebody. They're, Especially these kids, these Where kids, was I? these kids, these Did I kids. Evacuate? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It wasn't. It was at my community college. Oh, okay. Uh, but oh, I forgot you went to um, Nigeria University. No, I went to a community college in Chicago. Y'all had desks made out of uh, gang, gang. You know, everybody know where. If you're from bamboo. Chicago, if you're from Chicago, and you know Truman College. You know that shit is not for play, play. That's the. That's like one. Of the, I hated that school. It was man. You get that little alert every time that, oh, there's been a shooting right outside of, I'm like, fam, every day? That's crazy. Like, who y'all shooting at? <laughs> like, y'all didn't get the person yet? Why y'all still shooting? <laughs> Three days later. For these kids, like, it, uh, what it was making me think about is that there's a TikTok trend called uh, Devious Acts. And then I guess in September, it was like, all these kids are like breaking stuff into, uh in the bathroom and stealing soap dispensers and, um, yeah, they were stealing like whole things from like somebody stole a stall. I heard, <laughs> like they took, bro, they, they took the whole, like the whole, they unscrewed the whole toilet and everything. Took the whole, the whole toilet. Wow. Yeah, but I, I hope guess they don't come out with a new trend. No, like, there is a new one that said no, October is saying slap a teacher. Man, I'm about to go be a teacher then. <laughs> I wish one man. <laughs> that will be the. They're gonna be like, damn, why he's smiling. <laughs> You know how you lean away, bro. Uh, I, I'm just gonna feel. You're gonna feel the slap and come from back of your head, and you're just gonna start smiling like this. 
<laughs> you're gonna have that little evil grin like the villain you know those little uh anime stuff all the music start playing like, and then you just start smiling like now the time i've been waiting for this whole time i got a lot of teacher friends like a lot of them are like super super by the rules mm-hmm. and those if you're gonna smack the shit out of somebody a teacher is one of the ones i'm sorry to my teacher friends a teacher is <laughs> yeah. one of the ones that you would smack the shot of because they they love kids and they don't want them to make mistakes and they just gonna be like what honestly why would you do that honestly it depends i might go sub somewhere and just be waiting with my hands behind my back <laughs> <laughs> it honestly depends on what school you go to to be honest Try that. Try that in the schools we went to. Like the teachers are fighting back. I've seen, bro. I've seen teachers fight back with students in high yeah, school. Yeah, I got you. Ever, I got pushed out of a class by a teacher, like speared out of a class. I don't know. I have never been touched by a teacher. Yeah. Oh no, Nigeria. Huh? <laughs> I say Nigeria. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. What do you mean touched? I got touched. Like whooped. Oh, okay. Like, you know. All right. You got Just like you said. You got you speared. Are, huh? Wellness you said, check. You said teachers are spearing. No, nah, no, no teachers have touched me in I mean, teachers are probably really spearing over in Nigeria. Spearing, throwing spear. Shout out to the nation, baby. We back. See, it's not funny when you force it. We back. You gotta tell him he can't force it. You we got, back. You gotta let it just flow off the tongue and just let it be like natural. How is that bad? Flow off the tongue. What's flowing off your tongue? Words. What words? Like they're coming out my mouth. Whoa! <laughs> hey, y'all heard him. We got what? This dude is. This dude is immature. You? Uh, Why you got McRib up there? <laughs> <laughs> they bring back the McRib. Man, that's tough. Do you bro. think the McRib is actually made of ribs? Like you think? It's I mean, it's, I think it's some type of pork mashed up into a. Did shape you ever of, like the McRib? I've never had a McRib. Before. You never had it. Mm-mm. I would never touch anything like that. <laughs> Why are we both doing the same thing with our arms? I don't know. That was lit. That's how you know you're listening to somebody when you. But yeah, I would never. I would never touch my grip. I wouldn't. Nah, not now. Back then, it was like when that shit came out. Every time, it was like, it was like the best thing in the world to some people. And I like. They say they say the McRib is the same rib that uh, Adam gave. <laughs> that shit is disgusting. McRibs are disgusting, <laughs> bro. They say that's the same rib that Adam gave Eve. No, no, McRibs are terrible. I'm n- I would never touch a McRib. McDonald's eats. I don't know. They, bro. I don't know how would they. Would you still- rather eat a McRib or lick a pig's butt? Eat a McRib. Oh, okay. <laughs> you say I would never eat a McRib. You just I said would eat a never McRib. one. But you I t- caught you in a lie. You gave me now options. Now the viewers know that you're a liar. Nah. Stick to your guns. I never lie. Say you would never eat a McRib. I just asked you a would you rather question. You said you'd eat a McRib. Never lie. But it's just like, are you not, speaking of, I mean, like, the McRib, I get it. And I, even like last episode, I was talking about some other stuff. Probably been touching but, my mic the whole episode. Yeah. <laughs> There's some, I was, uh, because you know uh halloween's coming up mm-hmm. and i was just thinking about all the candies i used to hate i was thinking like just some of the candies that are still are popular and i wonder who's making it popular still to where they're still putting this out yeah you know what i mean so i was thinking like candy corn candy corn i knew that's my first one candy corn is terrible 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 disgusting actually like literally the just like they should be banned. I remember going trick or treating and like they look like earplugs. <laughs> they do. I remember going to trick and treating just like when the ladies is really and it's the most unsanitary thing you can give. Like there's no wrapping for candy corn. So, so, <laughs> like somebody was just probably taking a bath in the candy corn and put it in a bucket. What else is on this list of like candies that are nasty but still popular? Smarties. Yeah, and those ones. I feel like that's getting you ready for like popping a molly or something. I could tolerate Smarties a little bit. It's like one of those candies you're like, eh, okay, whatever. I have a, a sweet tooth, so I was like, with those type of candies like They're that. They're not sweet, though. They are kind of sweet, it's though. It's tart. I'm saying like for candy and like sweets and stuff like that. Just so like you candy. weren't a Smartie, huh? Idiot. Milk duds. I'm not really a bad Just a of blob chocolate. of chocolate. I'm not really a fan of chocolate. Yeah, I'm not that. a big chocolate yeah. fan. I kind of, I like the, all like the. Peeps. That was the marshmallow ones. The ducks. Yeah. They literally, as a kid, they literally got you demolishing a, like a live, live duck. So if anybody, so if it's any kid out there biting the head off of a duck, we know why it came from this candy. So make sure we Google that. 
maybe we can get them yeah, some reimbursement. Are, those ones that came out the the machines, right? The little toys, all oh, the duck ones too. The what's duck. the what's with the ones the those are the marshmallow ducks, right? Yeah, yeah. What's the ones that came out the little dispensers? Pez. Pez. Yeah. Yeah. What was what else? Uh, are those the ones that people don't like? Are you reading the dots. List? Remember dots? Those are nasty. Too. Nasty. Yeah. I think they're supposed to be. I don't know if there's some type of licorice. Licorice. Yeah. Uh, like ugh, just nasty. Swedish fish are good. Swedish fish are like they're good like and hit not, or miss. They're like good and not good at the same time. Yeah. Licorice. Obviously, we just talked about tootsie rolls. Uh-huh. Tootsie Rolls is a classic. It's like one it's of those classic. Things. Especially you ever had the fruity kind of Tootsie yeah, Rolls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those good. ones are good. Yeah. Super good. Uh circus peanuts. Remember those? Circus. Oh yeah, those are nasty. Yeah. Those are terrible. terrible. It's Hershey bar. They didn't uh, do ring pops. Fun dip. That's what I was gonna say next. Yeah. That one was just like Jawbreakers. A- Ed and Eddie used to really uh make me want a jawbreaker. Remember they used to always like fight over jawbreakers and My try to get ass. 25 cent yeah. and like try to put it in the side of their mouth and that's like what everybody wanted to do with a jawbreaker. My dumb ass didn't th- know that um, jawbreakers weren't that big. When I used to watch uh, Ed and Eddie, I was like, oh, I thought they were like <laughs> like this big or some this. shit. And then what you do? Just got normal jawbreakers. I didn't really like them. They just take too long to I'm the the candy guy. Like I just like to bite my candy. Mm-hmm. So then normally it's like if it's just a hard ass like ball, it's like it fucking hurts my teeth. <laughs> it does hurt my teeth though. Like, bro, I had some. I had like too much candy, bro. That's it. Uh, Halloween. Bro, I feel like you were talking about something else the whole time. I'm so uncomfortable. No, no, no. I was Is talking you about jawbreakers. Chicken and cold right now. No, nah, I was talking about jawbreakers. We we're just talking. You just said Ed, Ed and Hetty had the big jawbreakers <laughs> in their mouth. He was like, it was too big. My teeth. No, no, no. I said I thought it was big. I thought the jawbreakers were big because okay, Ed and Hetty. Right, we out of here. <laughs> Uh, good and plenty. I don't know what that is. Also, uh, you know the big league chew. Remember all that bubble gum, mm-hmm. the baseball chew, With like two seconds of flavor. Yeah, uh, Boston baked beans were good to me though. They gave you beans, Boston baked beans. You never had that as a red candy no. in the box. Wow, I never had those ones. Damn, you're so un-American. Remember the Boston baked beans. Remember the wax. Remember they had wax like bottle cap. So it'd be like wax, and then they have like a a flavor of a pop inside the wax. So it'd be wax shaped bottle. No, nah. you never. Saw What's the that worst before? Halloween like candy or anything you've received like that somebody gave you um, from trick or treating? The apples. Yeah, the candy at the. I was just handing out f- uh, the caramel old bananas. Uh, no, old bananas. There was always those people that handed out fruit. Mm-hmm. Like who are you? I didn't like when some people hand us uh, the candied apples, the caramel ones. Yeah. I didn't like those. Like, those are good, like, to get on your but like, don't give me this as a Halloween Halloween thing. They're hard to eat, too. I'm like, I have to eat this within, like, a couple days. That's, like, the definition of a cavity. My mom used to take all our candy, bro. What what age did you stop trick-or-treating? Say... 2000... What age? 19. 2019. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta officers gotta come investigate you i know you think about that you, that's crazy that you would probably go to jail if you like <laughs> if you like i want to trick or treat they'd be like yeah man what you doing out here man we should try that and see what we'll see. yeah i'm gonna try it and like chris hansen gonna come out like hey what you doing here patrick <laughs> <laughs> like, i'm just trying to get some candy chris wait why are you here <laughs> oh my god bro uh, <laughs> We got the, would you rather be stuck in a Walmart for a month? I thought you about to say st- stuck in a washing machine step, bro. Go ahead. Would you rather be stuck in a washing machine? <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> would you rather you be stuck? step, bro? Would you rather be stuck in a Walmart for a month or a Target for a month? Hmm. I just got to survive in there. Yeah, just have to survive on whatever in there. Uh, I got to go with the... I don't know. This is a tough question. It's a tough one, huh? It's tough. You want to say Target because it's... Are there people still going in and out? Um, I guess in this situation, no. So you're just stuck in there by, by yourself. yourself.
bro, I don't. You got to be Target. Yeah. The main reason why is like I don't trust Walmart. Mm. Like Walmart. Like if if it's any Walmart in inner city, don't matter where it's at, <laughs> how well it's ran. <laughs> It's a jungle in there. There, yeah, boy, it's a wild, wild west. Jungle, in like the it's hood like Walmart. All it is, all Walmart is, is just waiting for the wrong two people to cross each other. <laughs> like that's it. That's why yeah. it's so big because you gotta separate everybody. Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy, bro. And I never see like, you know, a lot of people that work at Walmart. Mm-hmm. You never see anybody at Walmart working outside of the cashiers. And I know it's like a stupid myth, and everybody gonna say, "Duh, that joke is old," but. It's fucking crazy to have 25 lanes open for register. Well, not open for register. 25 lanes for your registers only have three of them open. Yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. It's like, why have that many if you're never going to have? Ever. It's it's just a waste of space. Right. So you're only doing that for like two times a year on like Black Friday and like Christmas. Even that sometimes, bro. It's the ones, all of them still don't be open. The ones in the hood, bro, the Walmarts are like, one, you never find what the hell you're looking for. No. Then you'll see freaking... (laughs) Your if you're looking for chicken, like raw chicken, it should be in the cereal aisle randomly. <laughs> yeah, somebody gave up. On yeah. The way. Like, yeah, we don't need this shit right here. <laughs> and y'all know if they picking that shit up and taking it back either. Everything's always misplaced. It's like no, you know the worst part is you no. Know, I'm not offended when it happens, but I think it's like the dumbest shit ever. Mm-hmm. Like I just paid for something, right? Yeah, with my own money, and I'm on my way. You don't know if I'm running late and. And somebody's asking you to see your fucking receipt at the door. Like if you I just I just deny it now. What? It's funny as hell. I just say no. <laughs> like if you wanna follow me and make a big scene and get cops involved because the bread not in the bag, like like no. You gotta follow me to my car. You gotta show them your receipt and there's no way like you're just scanning for the the, the items that are outside the bag, so you're looking at the laundry detergent. Like, god damn boy. I remember when dudes in college they used to freaking <laughs> steal water, cases of water from uh Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> They'll just put the water <laughs> under the cart and just go out with it. And people never ask. I feel like the the, the art <laughs> I, just, I shouldn't be even saying this. <laughs> the, the art. The it's... art the art of stealing is like the more confident you look, the way the better you can get away with it. It's just like if you're trying to sneak into some place you know you're not supposed to be. Like last night. Where we, were we snuck into somewhere? We were uh, in line. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are in line at that place, and these dudes wanted to cut in line. So mm-hmm. they had to go under the whatever, like the VIP thing. Yeah. So they had to duck under, mm-hmm. and, the, and the last guy got caught because he took all day. And, yeah, and they were there for a minute. And his dumb ass was 6'3". <laughs> So he ducked under the thing and stood straight up. Like, yeah. you're taller than everybody in the crowd. Daddy yeah. gonna know if a 6'3", dude. Then they sent his ass to the back of the and line. And then his friend went with him. Would you, if if I got sent back to the line, no. would you, <laughs> you wouldn't go See with me? See you in there, bucko. I would, I'd probably be like, No, we did some stuff. Remember we had the Shamrock uh, shuffle? shuffle tickets? We were slick with it, though. Yeah, we were slick. We would go in, four of us would go in, and then one of us would come out with the rest of the tickets and get the rest of yeah. the people in. Yeah, that's we was too smooth. We were plotting that since the like the week before. How we gonna you do this? Print, and you photoshopped your one. Yeah, you you photoshopped the shamrock. Bro, shuffle I, fo- then photo- you about to go to prison. <laughs> bro, Photoshop has helped me with a lot, bro. One time I didn't re- I didn't renew my uh <laughs> I didn't renew my plates when I first got my car. Huh? <laughs> You I just tell me this. I just photoshop. This might be a federal crime, bro. <laughs> I just photoshop. I'm pretty sure this is a federal crime. You about to snitch on yourself? <laughs> Statue of limitation. This happened in like 2012. Uh, I'm saying. 13. All right, when they ship you out, you gonna be riding zebras again. <laughs> Andrew Wiggins got vaccinated. I think yeah. I think they just say yeah. he just did. Andrew Wiggins is a basketball player for. Everybody uh, should know. Like, if you're a fan, you should know who Andrew Wiggins yeah, is. Yeah, he, he plays for the Warriors. We're ninety percent. We're ninety percent male. You yeah, guys should know we, it. We should. We should be all right in that aspect. <laughs> but basically, got vaccinated after the NBA stated that um, if it's your state's law that you have to be vaccinated mm-hmm. to uh, go to sports, yeah. like, games or whatever like mm-hmm. that, then you have to fulfill it. Yeah. Also, as an athlete, then which means Andrew Wiggins wouldn't have been able to play in. Any home games, which yep. there's what forty one of them. Mm-hmm. So you what team 40. is Andrew Wiggins on now? The Warriors. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so Andrew Wiggins got vaccinated. I think Kyrie Irving and Bradley Bill are like two of the main ones that still aren't. Yeah, I think it's Bradley like, is in Washington. So, yeah. So Andrew Wiggins would have forfeited like fifteen million dollars. Yeah. If he didn't get vaccinated. <laughs> Do you believe in anything that much not to <laughs> nothing that much to, to give up 15 million? No. 
<laughs> nothing that much. I, hey, if they told me I had to take some heroin <laughs> once a year for fifteen million, would you take fifteen million? <laughs> I'm not doing heroin for one. You gotta do it one time a year. <laughs> no, <laughs> one time nah, a year. Nah, 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 nah. One time can get you can ruin your whole life. Man, one time a year for 15. So you just got to do a hard drug, 15 minutes. Give me the spoon. Give me the lighter. <laughs> he said, give me the spoon. <laughs> I took it up. Whatever, however you need me to do it. <laughs> nah. It's getting done. Nah, that's like, that's one of the. For nah. 15, you are, you, you're just the biggest capper on the internet. I'm just not like, capping. Just terribly. Just, it's just disgusting, bro. I think, nah, I can't do it. You got, all you have to do is. A hard drug, nah, one time. Not for you could lock million. yourself in a room and just trip out. Not for fifteen million. And listen to Kid Cudi. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's but, the music that would be playing. Yeah, day but, and night. What are they saying? But Kyrie was on the on the fence of um, he was saying like I think one of the reporters asked him about it, and then um, he was like just respect my privacy and stuff like that. Right. And that Shaq made a good point. He was talking about this what Kyrie was saying. It's like once you sign up to the NBA. You're kind of giving up some of your privacy. That's yeah. like part of the job. Yeah. And I was like, if Kyrie was talking the same way when he was a rookie, unknown rookie, you when you didn't, NBA. yeah, like you don't need, because you need the media. As as much people hate the media and stuff like that, you need the media. It's what yeah. makes the game, the game. It's what makes you popular. It's just right. to make you more popular. But some of these, I feel like some of these athletes, once they get more popular and to the level they're already at, like they don't need any they more. Back control. That's part of being super popular. But yeah, that's like the that's what you want to go. You yeah. want to go back to um, controlling your narrative. You want to control the narrative, but you're still, but without forgetting that you're still an employer, uh, uh, an employee of the NBA. Yeah. Regardless it, of what you think, you can. It's but, hard though. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to be if you work for a company that pays you, you know, thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. It's it's easy to be like there's so many more people making more money than me. Yeah. But for someone to be paying you, you know, Kyrie probably makes like twenty million a year mm -hmm. from the NBA. Yeah. That's tough to even think that you have a boss. Yeah. <laughs> to, like to think, yeah. I make twenty million dollars and I have a boss. Like somebody yeah. could tell me what to do, and it, like, I think it hits him hard sometimes. Like, and I think no, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, oh, no, I was gonna I say, and I think he's kind of been going through that. Um, a spiritual like yeah, zen he's been on that yeah, way on that way but like more than the earth is flat more than ever now walk like, off of it like like when i saw him doing sage throughout the whole uh that shit is some stadium old, that's that's <laughs> some old uh black grandma shit yeah so it's like Kyrie, sage still here get these goddamn demons out of here Kyrie's definitely an interesting individual but i just feel like some like i heard bradley beal saying well if you still get it you can still get the, you can still get yeah nobody's the, like <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know if I said this on the last yeah. podcast. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. <laughs> if you say you're going to do the research, do the shit then. <laughs> yeah. God know what damn. It's... I got to do my research. How long? <laughs> <laughs> like, Bro, it's it's hilarious. I think Damian Lillard had a good point. Again, we're not like trying to force anybody to do anything. Yeah. We don't like do what you want. Do what but you do. Damian was just like saying like, he really has no, he's like, I've been taking stuff that I don't know what the doctor prescribed. He just told me to take it. And I really didn't ask that many questions. And I was right. like, I think just it got too politicized in like one way and one way. But I'm like, whichever side of the fence, if you're like super Republican, super Democrat, both of y'all leaders on both sides got the vaccine. Bro, I'd rather get a vaccine <laughs> than eat a McRib. <laughs> Bro, it's people out here eating McRibs and they complain Same. about, oh, no, what's in that vaccine while jumping on a McRib and, yeah. eat, and drinking a McDonald's Sprite that literally make your fucking eyeballs roll to the back of your head. I think for athletes, it's worse because especially like football players, basketball players, when you guys get these injuries, they take you to the back. You pop a couple opioids, give you some uh, cortisone shot in the ass. Yeah. yeah. You, you take all that. You don't ask no questions because no. it's going to help you get back on the court. Right. right? So just do what that, my thing is just do what's going to help you get back on the court because mm -hmm. just fighting it, it's not really going to you. You stand for what you want to stand for. I don't know if it's part of your religion and stuff like that. I'm not sure what religion there the, everybody's practicing. What, yeah, I want to see what part of the, <laughs> what part of your Bible say. Yeah. Hey, they try to give you the vaccination. We don't do that shit. <laughs> right here in Corinthians three seventeen, <laughs> say something about vaccinations. <laughs> uh, but for like the people that are like the, the everyday people, it's your choice i think it's just like if you're just loud about it on either side just shut up like if you're trying to like oh you gotta get it because you 
you're affecting this and that. Like, all right, you don't have to like blast it in people's face and say that's, somebody's. That's part of the. That's part of the reason why. Um, I'm not saying a lot of people won't get it, but I yeah. feel like there's a percentage of people that won't get it because of how it's being like pushed on. People. It is though. It's and that was my big like. All right, let me wait a little bit before I got mine because I'm like, they were giving out uh, at the state fair. They're giving you free funnel cakes if you got your Everything. vaccine. They just trying to get you to get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know you're gonna I mean, be the zombies. You ever yeah. seen the, when everybody took the vaccine? You did it. Yeah, and it's a song. They say to come outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's tough. So it's a funny thing. So it's like it's like just, you understand why they're pushing it in a sense because people are dying from it, but. In the sense you just of like said that so casually. No, people are dying from it. There you go. That's more of the time. Oh, sorry. I see. But yeah, people are dying from it. No, no, yeah, seriously, perfect. people are dying from COVID. And then um the way they're pushing it is just like one of those things where it's like, all right, why are they why are they offering me a lottery ticket or free tickets? Like yeah. if it's something like, like when you think of something life altering and then you adding like a fun contents to it, it kind of it's like Listen, a, the contrast not, of it is weird. I'm not trying to make fun of people that are unvaccinated. Yeah. But the fact that they are doing stuff like that kind of shows you the intelligence of people that they think are unvaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, we got that free funnel cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they really got people off that. Like those people need to be exterminated. Yeah. Like the fact that <laughs> you wouldn't take the vaccination after all the information I put out there. Yeah. And then I put a funnel cake and you show up to the funnel cake. <laughs> <laughs> What's your big ass doing? <laughs> it's like some dude breathing heavy. Uh, I'll be shots I gotta take to get yeah. the funnel. They were showing people at these uh, anti. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave this topic a little bit, but we were showing these uh, people at these anti-vax um, uh, marches, right? The anti-vax marches, yeah. and all a lot of them were just smoking like cigarettes and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, <laughs> what I want to know are weird. <laughs> yeah. I get what they're protesting now. Now there's states yeah. that are requiring it to like do certain things. But they it's, were having the protests before there yeah. were like requirements. Like Yeah. It's like were, Yeah. It's funny just because like again, I think I talked about this on another podcast. It was like when this uh cake company refused to make a cake for a gay, a gay couple and then people were like some people a lot of people are saying, "Oh, that's wrong. They should be making it." But then some people are like, "Oh, it's their business. They can do what they want." But now the same people that are saying it's their business to do what they want are saying yeah. they can't force us to like. Oh God. Yeah, they just sh- basically anything they don't want. They just change it into being political. I think so that's they everything, like, bro. Yeah, it's so everything. weird. It's like it's everything has moved the goalposts. If one person on the, on the far left says something, everybody's going to like, you know, everyone yeah. on the right is going to like, oh, you shouldn't have said that. But the same people. It's like if if the same thing was said on both sides, people would still argue the points. Yeah, da- <laughs> down to the T. Yeah, da- no matter what, no matter what, it's just about who's saying it. There's That's always why gonna be like an opinion on everything, man. Everybody. I was always told, and this is my always my belief: no matter who's your president, you still got to work hard to do what you want to achieve, man. Who's your president? Like no matter who, like in the world, like well, whoever your president, wherever right. you're from, whatever country, you still don't gotta, let it affect you your right. life. Yeah, that is a really good quote. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good quote. It don't matter who it is. Don't matter if you who working it is. at McDonald's with Trump. Yeah, and you working at McDonald's when Obama was in office, and you still working at McDonald's when yeah. Biden's in office. You just McDonald's working, motherfucker. Yeah, man. nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing is changing your life. Nothing's changed. Yeah, like, so it's no like, law and like nobody just. What you waiting on that person to come with law like McDonald's workers get a hundred thousand dollars a year? Yeah. Now you voting for that person? Yeah. People so just wait until that's what people don't realize. Like they take on the whole um, persona of the yeah. candidate. Mm-hmm. Just say that. He's pushing it. You have a small business. Yeah. Donald Trump is helping small businesses yeah. out. This is the reason I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm not about to take on the whole personality of Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. And become like this. This. Yeah. But either way, become an either side. Become yeah. that that person. Yeah. You know? So it's like it's just one of those weird things where it's like, fam, just keep working hard on what you want to do. Like yeah. stop thinking about who the damn uh, politics. Vote for who you want to vote for. Exactly. But at the end of the day, when there's never going to, I think once people accept that there's never going to be a perfect America, I think then we can start moving forward and like, all right, let's work on the things we agree on. And then the stuff we disagree on, we can have the the, the democratic vote. That'll the, never the happen. Vote. It, it won't because everybody wants there's to people hate that, each other. No, no, no. There's people that want pure destruction. Yeah. I think people just want, like, they want this. Some they people want. want pure destruction. Like, they see something, like, you ever seen those, uh, I don't know what cartoon that's from. 
everybody's having a food fight. Yeah. And then everybody calms it down. Mm-hmm. And then it's always that one dude that just throw something again and get it started back again. Yeah. Like, that's America. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no matter if something gets all the way down to calm, it's yeah. just like somebody is going to ramp it back up. Like, so it's always going to be one thing, one event that just, like, shoots it back up. Just the like, fact that we just have, like, marches that's saying, like, Hey, stop killing people. And then people like turn into politi- political stuff. Like, but <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? But I, I just said stop killing black people. But hold on. <laughs> Hear me out on my opinion. Yeah, it's like if y'all stop moving so much when we arresting. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, man. Just stop killing unarmed black people. What about the people that's criminal? No, 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 no. Yeah. Just start killing. Just stop killing unarmed black people, bro. Let's just start there, yeah. Bucko. No, for sure. We didn't mean to get all political on Yeah, we did go political for about right. 12 minutes. That's all right. It's all right. We're not, it wasn't even political. We're like, it, we're as even as even down the middle as we can. We're none of us ever lean towards any side. Like, we're like, I don't like, I don't talk about politics like that. I don't like, I don't really exp- express. Because no. I think once you do that, <laughs> one, you cut off like half of your fan base already. Yeah. You know, so, so we come up here, we're super like super far left, left or, super or super far, far right. right. Yeah. Get down! Yeah. yeah, it would not be the fun podcast to listen to. The the thing that um that I know is like people gonna think this like a conspiracy thing mm-hmm. like that I'm trying to think of, but to think that we have a government this powerful that will actually let America be um, controlled by the people, mm-hmm. it's like ridiculous to yeah. me. Yeah, it's like something like if if you believe even half of the conspiracies that. America did this to themselves mm-hmm. or America did this in history, whether it's like president assassinations or whatever. If you even believe like half that stuff or think any of that's true to think like, oh, we're going to let Americans vote and we're actually going to listen to them. <laughs> There's no way, bro. Yeah. There's no way. Like they're giving you the two candidates. They know exactly what's going to happen that's and the they can problem. control the events that's going to happen to persuade you to vote in another way. True. Yeah. Like, bro, Preach. Just, just think, like, okay, the Capitol riots, right? Mm-hmm. How many times has the Capitol been stormed like that? Not that I can remember. I can't remember. Yeah, never, I guess. How many people probably wanted to storm the Capitol like that? Probably a couple people. Maybe storm a some lot. building. Probably over thousands of people. Probably over storm a government building. A government yeah. building. It's never been successful because they probably found it out before. Yeah. Because it takes some type of planning, some stuff. Mm-hmm. They let that happen. <laughs> yeah, I think they according to the what was happening there it was like they let that yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't want to get into like the huge conspiracy everybody. Yeah. You know, somebody writing this down like adding it to their list. Yeah. <laughs> right next to their area 51 notes and shit. <laughs> All right. Talk about aliens, Pat. Time to uh time to lighten the mood up, I guess. Um which superpower would you use if you could which up? Oh my goodness! I can't read today. Which superpower would you use if you could have it only for ten days? Um, super strength, telepathy, telekinesis, controllable invis- invisibility, uh, teleportation, or being resizable. And this was by Chip with multiple P's on Reddit. I think controllable invisibility for me. Controllable. What would you do with it? Rob Banks. For ten days, yeah. Don't they get like mark? Don't they mark the, the bank notes? They get like or rob pe- like it's you. <laughs> you said you were robbed with your ten days of superpower. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I need as much money as possible. That's why I'm getting this for ten days. Yeah. Anybody that would like get super strength and go save a bunch of people, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's gonna remember you and they're gonna ask you on the eleventh day, can you do it again? And then people are gonna call you a bum, like. Mm. Get what you can and get out. I'm turning invisible. Um, I'm just going into banks and I'm walking right in, taking money. I think I would walking choose. Out. I think I would choose telepathy. Telepathy. Say it for me. What's the word? Telepathy. 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 I think I would choose telepathy. There you go. Telepathy. I, I struggle with those ph words, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, I think I would choose that so I can read people's mind. I feel like there's a way to make money <laughs> with with reading minds too. But yeah, like, true. If, if you go to like casino or something, I don't know if, if I can when, learn how to play poker. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can you can learn a lot. Yeah, right? yeah. All you gotta do is learn the game, and then you can read everybody's mind. Yeah. Even like, does blackjack? Does the dealer know what they have in blackjack no, or no? No. No. What other stuff do you have it's to not, actually play against the dealer? I don't know. Nothing. Just poker. Yeah. 
mm, maybe do some high stake bet- bets. Yeah, I maybe mean, if you I'll reach re- out to I'll reach out to every millionaire I know. I'm like, hey, let's go. To, let's go. To these let's just try to get on many as many game shows as possible. Exactly. Win all of them. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what you should do. That's too long. Ten days. Just be invisible and just steal shit. <laughs> okay. And punch everybody you know in the or back. Or telekinesis is like when you can. I think when you can move stuff without uh, people see your face. Remember the the. But the, is there I a distance the, for it? The biggest part of it, Mike. Can you just bring the ATM to you? Okay. The biggest part of it, remember this part, is that they expire. Yeah. So any damage you do, people coming for they get back. Yeah. So if you got super strength beating on somebody ass, then they see you twelve days later, boy. Yeah. You can use super you. strength to get into a, a tournament, a, a strongman tournament. Let that tournament be like the, on the hour of when you lose your power. Oh. <laughs> you lift a thousand, you deadlift ah. a thousand pounds, and then, then, damn, you don't got be like somebody do the same a thousand pounds. Now you got to list a, a thousand ten, and he's like, oh shit, I got <laughs> my shit ran out. Like, it's gone. <laughs> That'd be the worst time. All right, I got a question for you. Yeah, would you shave your head bald and let a thousand random strangers lick your scalp? But for each person that licks your scalp, you get a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, what's the, what the kids on TikTok say? Unlimited money glitch. <laughs> you just let people just continue licking. to lick my scalp. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Easy, no question asked. I can't do it. You wouldn't let them lick your scalp. You know how you got the money? Just one lick. I couldn't. Just I was gonna reenact the lick. Man, but... I hope not. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that boy got some form over there. <laughs> but you, you weren't. I don't know. That's an easy one, bro. No, it's not. Bro. I think it's easy. I would never. I. I just couldn't. Those people own you now. The fact that just think somebody licking your scalp, bro, they own you. That's what. That's what dogs do to their kids. I think the hardest part for me would be shaving my head. My head. Yeah, that's what it really is. Like <laughs> shave your head, then you got all these people. Nah, I couldn't yeah, do that. I'd be wearing the same hat all the day, all the time, anyway. So you wear the, the same hat. Yeah, yeah. I think the other had like three hats. That picture funny, in it? What the hell? Why did I look like that? That's me? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is me. Yeah, that's you. That's a terrible picture. Don't don't post that. Don't ever. That's Damn, I didn't know you had that much heat on me like heat? that. Well, I got some heat. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That boy has some heat. What else we got? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know... That there's a surgery now that can make you taller. Really? Yeah. So this one guy got a surgery and he went from, I think, like 5'4 to like 6'1. And Damn. And, that's and a big jump. That's a, a huge That's from jump. being like a horse jockey to like pick second in five on five basketball. But I would think that there's no way that like it's good for your knees. There's no way no. you can like function like there's no way you can be athletic anymore. yeah yeah or even like i said just be for the height but if you five four would you doing anything athletic in the first place <laughs> you short bastard <laughs> <laughs> oh man, man that's Being a lot five four yeah that's tough i would actually be on um would you rather be would you rather be five feet tall mm-hmm. this off the head would you rather be five feet tall as a man mm-hmm or, As a man, <laughs> or be six four, but you missing all your fingers on your right hand. Oh, six four with my fingers missing. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You care about height that much? I mean, I don't care about height that much. I just don't want to be. I don't want to be five foot. Five foot, bro. Yeah. Oh my god! Shout out to all the five foot boys out there. Yeah. I know y'all are sick as hell. You know they whole body be in their ID picture. I feel like honestly, if you're like five nine to like six foot, it's almost the same thing. Doing backflips under the bed. It's what? almost it's five. Being five nine to six to six foot is almost the same thing. Changing it's, the oil, standing <laughs> straight up. <laughs> I say, is that that much of a difference? Five nine to like six foot. Like the, if you stand there, I've seen the people yeah, that are yeah, like yeah, five yeah. ten, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like six foot one, and I'll say five ten. Five ten to six one is kind of like the same. Yeah, I think yeah, y'all around the same range. I think dudes put too much uh too much emphasis. I'm s- I'm six foot. That's because they be looking at them posts. Like, I need a man that's six foot, can cook, yeah. and maybe like 5'11", only could cook ramen. They like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't talking about that's me. A, our, or that's the thing we're, we're talking about, too. Like, we talked about, like, uh, designer clothes. We were talking about clothing and stuff like that. And, like, you know, like, 
I think I I I think I was talking to you about this uh during the week. I was like, I feel like dudes dress for dudes. Yeah, in a sense they do. Yeah, because especially like when you get these like designer items, these shirts that only another guy would probably know about. You're really getting like one, if you really like the item, people say that, but at the end of the day, we do as humans, we do things for other people. We really do. Yeah. <laughs> and it started up with why did the light up shoes go out of style? <laughs> like then was hey yeah now why can't we wear light up shoes no more? Yeah, and that's not like if I wore anymore. the Skechers. Remember what the Skechers with the wheels? Mm-hmm. At some point that was popular. Yeah, like now you can't even do that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like dudes, we only get like a select shoe. It got to be name brand or a dress shoe. Yeah, but I'm as, saying, but I'm saying though, you would think that, especially if, as a heterosexual man, you're doing things to impress girls, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But most I don't dudes. Know why you said heterosexual? No, like, no, what are we no. With this? Because I was gonna say most dudes do that, but like there's in 2021, everybody's you know you can be whatever you want now. Yeah, for sure. But um, um, most dude like heterosexual dudes would like trying to like impress girls, but like at the end of the day, you're still you're only doing it to impress another guy. Like <laughs> no girl. I don't no, agree anymore. <laughs> no, I'm bro, out of it. We we it is true though. Like what if you walk into a club, right? You're saying, if no, you're, no, no. I think a, it, a, a guy and yourself, which you are a guy, yeah. and you're trying to impress yourself in a sense, right? You know these Jordans look good to guys because you are a guy yeah. that likes that shoe. Yeah, in that, in that sense, through yourself. But though. girls don't give a shit about that shit, I feel like. Yeah, they do for other girls, I think so. No, for other girls. That's the best compliment they can get. But I'm saying if I'm wearing the new Jordan 4s and the girl's not a freaking sneakerhead, you think that girl cares that you're wearing freaking Jordan Force? No, but you feel confident in them. You bro. feel confident in them, yes. Right. But but I still think again, we, I think a lot of guys do a lot of things for other guys. Especially when you and, when and you they look don't even re- and they don't even realize it. Hey, you need to hear this. Throw them dirty ass Air Force Ones away. Now. I know Pat made me stop wearing my dirty ones. Go to your closet, throw them dirty That's ass like Air a, Force Ones. We supposed to give relationship advice. I forgot. I got something. All right. So I was uh looking on tiktok the other day Mm -hmm. right and i was scrolling and it's so weird that the like some dudes just can't catch a hint from a from a girl Mm -hmm. like girls do what they want and know exactly what they want rarely can you change a girl's mind like if you change a girl's mind she was already thinking of getting in a relationship with you you just kind of sealed it yeah yeah yeah. like you're not the whole like the sweeping off the feet mantra that shit the only time you can sweep a girl off her feet if you just met her Mm mm-hmm Right, you just met her and you swept her off her feet. Mm-hmm. If you've known a girl for like six months, like you're not gonna sweep her off her feet. You can stop trying. <laughs> if a girl is telling you that she's going to bed at eight p.m., stop trying. <laughs> then you could be a logical human being. Let's say she's a super sleepy girl, right? Mm-hmm. She goes to bed at six, which is crazy. Yeah. She's with another dude, but let's say she goes to bed at six, <laughs> right? Twelve hour. Let's say a, a human sleeping twelve hours is ridiculous. Uh-huh. And she doesn't text you back. <laughs> she said, oh, you've been sleeping 12 hours. <laughs> and, and she texts you back at 1 p.m. Saying, sorry, I just got up. I was super tired. <laughs> like, bro, she with somebody else. Let that hurt go. <laughs> said let it. <her. laughs> Dudes uh, be talking about, am I in a friend zone? Yes. <laughs> if you got to ask yourself, you're in a friend zone. Do people ask those questions? You are a planet. Do people ask those questions? Yeah. They ask girls, like, am I in the, in the friend zone? No, 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 no. They ask like their guy friends, are they in a friend zone with a girl? Like they explain. What the are like some like trigger words that for that you know that you're in a friend zone? If you give a girl a compliment, mm-hmm. right? So let's say uh, you a dude and you you scrolling up and you uh, go to a girl's IG and you be like, man, you use the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. So beautiful, your eyes perfect. And she messaged back and say thanks with a smiley face. <laughs> That's like the politest way for her saying <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> like she's just being super polite. Yeah. Some dudes be like, oh shit, she responded. <laughs> it's like, no, she was raised right to yeah. like take compliments and yeah. say thanks. Uh-huh. She, nothing. You will know when a girl wants you back. Yeah. She'll be like, oh, you look good too. Mm. It's like you already opened the door for that opportunity for her yeah. to say something back. And if the only oh. thing she can say is thanks <laughs> with a smiley face, not a heart face, nothing. That got to be the worst feeling when you like see somebody in person and be like, oh, you look really nice today. And they say thanks and they don't say it about you too. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because 
even in my head, like if somebody says that, even if they don't look good, I'll say, oh, you're, I like the way, I like, you something. look good too. Yeah, I yeah. Got, I got to find something like, your right toe, decent. Yeah. <laughs> you'll <laughs> say something, ugly. you'll say something polite back, but yeah. if somebody says nothing. Like nothing. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> Or the worst part is like, what's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah. Good. <laughs> like, damn. He don't give a fuck how your day going. <laughs> bro, the best is. Just, no, the worst part is, like, when somebody asks you how you're doing, etiquette is, if you don't know the person, you're supposed to say good. That's what's weird about it. Mm-hmm. If you don't talk to the person, like. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't really care. Imagine walking past somebody. You don't really care. People need to stop asking how you doing. It's mm-hmm. like casual stuff. Yeah. Because if I go by and say, uh, hey, bro, like, uh, you know, you waving at somebody. How you doing? Yeah. And they say, not too well, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gonna look at you gonna look at it and be like, well shit, I ain't nothing I can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> or you like, yeah, you see them at like the gym or something, like, oh, how's it been? Like somebody don't really just see them at the gym. Yeah. It's just like you start seeing them, it's like, hey, hey how's everything going? You're like, man, it's not bad. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey bro. <laughs> Stop right there. Let me tell you, I don't give a fuck <laughs> before you start. Bro, another thing. To be honest. That brought me to another thought with what you were talking about. Is like something I hate when people do is that I hate when people text me like, hey, bro. Oh, my <laughs> Or, God. hey, Mike, I need a favor. I got a favor to ask you. Ask it then. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Sick of this shit. And then I'll, sometimes I won't respond to see. Maybe there's just like sometimes I text it's like. It's a build up, right? Yeah, so I text in like three sometimes or yeah, four. Same, so I'm same, like, oh, same. maybe. Okay, maybe. Guess what? Yeah. I'm about to. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But if they don't text back after like 15 minutes, I'm like. Fam, they really want me to respond before they tell, ask me. They let me know what then, they need. Wait, 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 wait. Then they say, "Can I ask you a question?" I always, bro. Bitch, you just asked a question, <laughs> <laughs> bro. You already asked a question. One, if somebody asks you, "Hey, I have a favor to ask you," or "Hey, I need something from you," or you know, oh, "Hey, bro," without saying anything after it, not responding. It's something you don't want to do. It is. It's something they they're not comfortable asking you flat out, but they kind of need that confirmation i'm just they like build. they oh, got right. they the, got to get the from you they got to what's up bro yeah they got to feel oh yeah you my bro right yeah since you responded bro pick me up from the airport at bro. 2 a.m be like so i was like what in college i was like one of the, like i was like i was one of the early dudes to kind of have a car because i was a little bit older than everybody in my class yeah, yeah yeah you had a car everybody always asked me for my car and everybody always started like hey bro nothing else and i'm like what could they possibly want and they oh i was like what up Hey, you think I could use your car? <laughs> <laughs> my car. Now, like, okay, when we were in college, like, letting people borrow your car didn't seem like anything. Yeah. Like, imagine somebody asking that in the real world today. Like, I are could... you dumb? <laughs> I don't think I've ever asked you for it to borrow your car. To car. I don't think we ever asked even in all To adult borrow life. a car. <laughs> a whole car. Oh, man. Just think about that. Borrow your car. Like. Bro, college, we used to do some irresponsible shit. Bro, the worst thing when you let somebody borrow their car and then, then they start doing like anything and everything with your car. Yeah, I ain't never had that before. Bro, I've had the worst things happen with my car. Car smelling like, bro, one time somebody smoked weed in my car, bro. My whole car, my whole car smells like weed. Yeah, especially if you're not a weed smoker yourself. Like, come on, bro. My whole car smells like weed now. Even as I was smoking, even as I did smoke, let me be the one. That, like, like I don't, I would never do it in my car. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you want your your personal space to like smell just like? That's what you're in, you're at college. It's illegal. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> and I'm on a sports team, so I wasn't at that time. Or I'm not at all. <laughs> That boy would be indicting the shit out of someone. <laughs> so. It don't matter. You're, you're already going to federal prison for yeah. that um, tag stuff. For your license plate. Oh, you know? faking my tag. But yeah, when, if anybody texts you like that, hey, bro, or hey, girl, and then, I got a question. And, and then they respond. Like, when you don't respond, then they, that's what they do. I hate people that do this. Mm-hmm. They get on Snapchat, right? First yeah. of all, everybody, Snapchat is for pictures. Remember that. Yeah. I hate people that type on black screens. Oh, man. This some bullshit. Nobody yeah. got my back. <laughs> Shaking my head. I wouldn't have your back either. <laughs> you just posted a blank screen on Snapchat to put words. Yeah. You could have typed this to them. <laughs> like, you putting on your story, like. Bro, people are. <laughs> man. That's, bro, wrap it up, man. It's, 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 I'm sick of this shit, bro. <laughs> oh, 
man. Well, that has been episode 16 of Crash Dummies Podcast. Remember to subscribe, like, comment for the algorithm. And um, yeah, give us a five star rating on Apple Music um, or Apple Podcast. And then, oh yeah, for the Spotify thing again, I'm going to try to include the little Q&A polls. Kind of see what you guys are feeling, what you guys are not feeling. I'll see, decide the question. And then, yeah, that's been episode 16. Peace.